On April 7th, the Republican Senate Majority Leader created a bipartisan Senate Safe Behaviors for Safe Workplaces work group. Three Senate Democrats and three Senate Republicans tasked with the goal of making recommendations to the governor of how to safely protect Michigan workers and their places of employment when the economy comes back online. We spoke to medical professionals, representatives from small business, workers' rights, manufacturing, and public health experts, and heard from a lot of you who are working on the front lines as we discussed how to best re-engage our workforce safely and responsibly. We were encouraged by the many meaningful conversations that took place among work group members over the course of several weeks, but the effort dissolved without reaching bipartisan consensus on key issues. We, as the Democratic members of this work group, will continue to instill confidence in Michigan's workforce that better days are ahead as we publish our recommendations. We know that many people are living paycheck to paycheck and we understand the need for Michigan families to get back to work. But with schools and child care centers closed, workers' protections must be at the forefront of any plan for re-engagement. Our proposal would address some of these concerns by calling for affordable and accessible childcare, as well as paid sick leave and protection from employers who are failing to uphold worker safety. The Michigan Occupational Health and Safety Administration must also see increased funding to adequately address workplace concerns and complaints, something that has significantly increased during the pandemic. And we need to strengthen fines for employers who aren't doing what they need to do. Our proposal also calls for the adoption of a COVID-19 resurgence plan. So the state is ready to respond immediately if cases start increasing again. We also need to see the need for the creation of a statewide COVID-19 safety standard for businesses and local governments so that clear and understandable mandatory screening protocols along with social distancing and sanitation policies can be referenced. So to fulfill our part, we felt it was necessary to issue our democratic plan to stand strong for Michigan workers, their families, and the public health. We want you to know that your health and safety is our utmost priority during this pandemic. And we will never stop fighting for the protections that you deserve. Read our report.